Okay, what's the blue light? Green. Shh, Jesus, green light. It's just the light at the end of his dock. That's it? No. Please, no, I'm begging you. I have 55 minutes. There's been like 10 movies made of it. No. It's everything, I guess. It's hope. It's something you want but know that you'll never get because it doesn't exist. Or maybe missing everything you've lost. Please, no. It's right. OK, what about this orgiastic future? Yeah, well, that's not happening. Yeah, but it's in the book. Stop it, dude. Finish the essay. OK, this hope not existing, that's what Tom is feeling. Nick. <sighs> Nick, shit. OK. Just make it sound original. You'll be fine. It's really open-ended. I got to go. Good luck. Wait, you going tonight? Uh, if my dad gets back in time, I'll meet you there. Which egg? East. East. Jude. Hey, Mr. Wallace. Don't you have statistics now? I do, yeah, but I heard Mr. Reeves is out sick. There's a sub. <sighs> the thing is, Mr. Wallace, um, I had to finish this for Mr. Foster's class. Uh -huh. It's a third of our gray. You understand that we're having this conversation right now? Sir? It's one thing to skip a class, but now I've told you to go to that class, so now it's sort of becoming another thing. Right, yeah. The thing is, Mr. Wallace, I think it might be better for me to get in trouble for skipping class, but be able to finish the essay. Jude, you're a weird kid. But we've both got a job to do, Jude. Your job is to go to class. My job is to be a guidance counselor and tell you to go to class, and also to help you get out into the real world in one piece. Got it? Yeah. OK. You had a terrible summer, Jude. I know. I'm sorry I didn't get to your father's funeral. The school wanted somebody to be there. But you, you, you still got to follow the rules like everybody else, OK? And trust me, there are much larger hurdles out there than a paper for Mr. Foster. OK. Now. We know that there are marbles in the jar, but if we make the jar opaque, is it still possible to say that there's a one in nine chance that, excuse me, Mr. What's his name? Jude. Hey, Jude. Am I disturbing you? No. Good. Then maybe you can answer the question. I was listening, sir. Terrific. What did I say? <sighs> you have a jar of marbles we can't see through, and you want to know if there's a one in nine chance that the number of marbles starts with a one through a nine. But that's wrong. I'm sorry? It's wrong. There's actually a 30% chance that the number of marbles starts with a one, and about a 20% chance that it starts with a two, and so on. It's called Benford's Law. Mr. Reeves hasn't gotten to it yet, but he will. So it's not your fault, because it's probably not in his class book yet. So if we turn the jar opaque, and now we can't see the marbles. That was awesome. Are you kidding me? I like how we went back to the marbles. Oh, it was fantastic. How'd you know what it was? I didn't really. I think I heard it on a radio show or something. I, I don't know. It just came out. Are you serious? You don't even know if it's real? I think it is, but no. <laughs> not really. Did you finish? Barely. Hey, Judy! <laughs> that was great. You finally found someone that you could out -geek. Shut up, Derek. You made it up. Seriously, Judy? Not thrill, I think. I thought it was cool.
Yes. No, 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 no. You go away. <laughs> mm. Wait, what? What is that? Just a hunch. Let's up that rope back inside if I were you. Never. Wait, what? It was the rook, I think. Yep. Let's play again. Reset the clocks. We picking Nell up tonight? She can't come. Why not? Uh, she's babysitting her sister. She said that if her dad gets back in time, she'd try. So what kind of party is this tonight? What do you mean? I mean, what kind of party is that? Just a big party. I don't, <laughs> the Muftics are moving and David thought it'd be cool to have a big party in their empty house. Wow, they just rebuilt that house. Yeah, but David's dad got a job in Atlanta. Well, I hope they don't burn down the kitchen in Atlanta too. <laughs> <laughs> so the parents will be home then, right? Probably, I don't know. Beer? No. Are you sure? Yeah. Jude? Yeah? Um, this isn't one of those rainbow parties, is it? What? You know, where the girls put different color lipsticks on and the boys try to oh, see. Oh my god, Mom, no! Jude? Mom, that doesn't even exist. Well, they do. I read about it in the paper. No, Mom. It's just a myth. It was on a parent's blog as Mom, well. Mom, I'm begging you, please don't talk about it. Please, it's made up. Okay, I'm just trying to be a well-informed mother. That's fake, get promise. Whose house? It's all school coming to this party? Yeah, they have a rule. If you invite any kids, you have to invite all of them. Really? Mom, no, that ended in fourth grade. Maybe I should just say hi to the Muftics. Mom, please. Just to wish them well, to see them off. Mom, I gotta go. Okay, call me when you need a lift. Hey, 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 Judy! Hey. The world can be full of pricks. Try to avoid them. Okay, Mom, I'll call you later. Okay. Hey kids, don't just hide in here. <laughs> Jesus. I know, there are kids here from everywhere. Who brought them? Nobody knows, they all just showed up. Derek and June and that group are headed in. Shit. Where are your parents? They're already in Atlanta. I'm staying with my grandmother for the next week. Hey. Hey. It looks like your party got hijacked. Yeah. Okay. Nothing left to do but ride it out. Will you guys hang out and help me clean up after? I'm almost be home by 11. Oh, hopefully they'll be gone by then. Who brought the keg? I don't know. Some kid just dragged it in the bathroom. Okay, well, you know what? I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> 